Hello, it's me, Borderline Uper again. Just uh, gonna do another How I Done It video. Um, I got a generator I picked up, and if you ever have this issue, you can hear it's running over there. Um, but I'm not getting no electricity out of it. It's uh, dead in the water. It's running great, no electricity. Breaker's on. Go check this thing out. As you can see, test and reset. The breaker's on. Got it plugged in. And nothing. Nothing out of this generator whatsoever. So what that means after sitting for a while, and I did this not too long ago with this generator, but even though it's been sitting for a while now, I haven't ran it in a while, and I already lost it. So what I got to do is a thing called flash the, the generator. So underneath this black cover here, there's a positive and a negative terminal that I got to hook a battery to for 10 seconds. And that'll flash the generator and allow it to put out voltage again because it lost its magnetic charge. So let's get to it. All I need is a Phillips screwdriver and I already had made up leads from the last time I done this which are right here. Not these ones. These ones. Oops, you see I'm not very organized. So these are the ones I had made up last time. A couple wires. Let's pull this cover off. Now I've seen on the internet other ways of people taking grinders and um, drills and just running them on the concrete or rolling them just to get enough voltage but I didn't have no luck with that so I found a technical service bulletin from a marine place and they recommended this and I've seen other YouTube videos but they never told me how long to hold it on the battery they said a couple seconds this one actually takes the full 10 seconds so underneath this cover you will see here this red and white wire there's a positive and a negative in here you can just unplug these just unplug those wires like that and just get out of your way and they see the negative there up there on that side so we'll stick the white wire just like this I'll actually the positive and it's down there. See positive, negative? Uh, you can see that. My finger's in the way. So the positive and negative. Can't get in there and get a good angle at it. Positive and negative down there. <laughs> Daddy, can you get me in the video for a little bit? So there's the negative lead. <laughs> there's the positive lead. Okay, I gotta get a battery. I got a battery here and I got my power lead so I got my negative hooked up and tied to the negative side of the battery and you can see the positive down there. So then we'll just do this and we'll count. 1001, 1002, 1003, 1004, 1005, 1006, 1007, 1008, 1009, 1010. Done. So that will give us magnetism back in the generator. Take the wires back off. And then put these back on. Let the 
red back on first here. That's why I guess it's important to keep running your generators so they don't lose their magnetism. So otherwise, you gotta keep doing this. It's not that bad of a thing to do, but if you're in a predicament, you need your generator right away. I'll put the cap back on. I'm having problems. Should use a bigger screwdriver. This is only a number one. Should use the number two. Okay, that's in there tight. Let's fire it back up. That old Honda E5000. So I got her pretty reasonable because it wasn't working. Put that on. I don't think I'll need to choke it. Simple fix. Didn't spend a lot of money bringing it to a shop. Just gotta run this thing a little more often. And that's how you flash a uh, generator. This is a Honda. Uh, there's other ones that are similar to this. And uh, all you gotta do is just 10 seconds on a, you can use a car battery or whatever, marine battery. And uh, 10 seconds will get your power again to your generator. So I hope this video helps somebody else out. Um, and we'll catch you later. Borderline Uper out.